All right, I got a bit of a weird one for you guys today. So I just got back. It was originally supposed to be a draft draft. The idea is <clears throat> you do a draft, you basically get three packs worth of cards, more or less. Um, and then you get a drink with it, entry, and then you get, because there's a bar next to the, and then you get <clears throat> a, uh, a drink every time you win. So, cat, what are you doing, lady? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Really? Come on, don't fight me. Can we not step on the rare cards? The auto print cards? Thank you, April. Alright, so... So they cracked open a bot boost. So anyway, what happened was, none of the people showed up. So they decided just to switch it to a sealed event where you get six packs and no drinks. Um, and just do normal sealed, kinda. The, for participating, they gave us a Brothers War promo pack, which I opened already. And then because I won a little bit, they gave me two packs of my choice for under five dollars. I picked Thunder Car Rising. Um, this was the booster box. It was Unstable, which is an unset from 2017, which at the time they were celebrating the this cat, the 25th anniversary of Magic: The Gathering. Uh, they did a much better job than this year's. I'm missing the part that goes over the box, because the idea was the box was like this. Um, the store kept it because they wanted to use it as a poster, because it explains a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> but this is silver bordered, so it's not legal for tournaments and stuff. Uh, Commander, we can YOLO, I guess, house rules at that point. Um, it's the old silver border, which is the acorn in the Infinity set. So, I kept the box because it looked cool. Um, if I guess if I ever have like a set, I guess I'll put this up. The box got a little damaged because they like folded it. And the idea is the box is supposed to be set up like this. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to stuff it into a bin until such time as needed. <clears throat> so let's get that out of the way. So for the Brothers War promo pack, I got another Vesuvian Diplomacy but in foil, another Slith uh, Sigardian Cliff Stomper but in foil, and a Razor Lash Transmorgan in foil. So that's actually the, the cool one. Um, aha, I got you, cat. Now let's go over the cards I pulled. I guess we'll start early April. Oh, she's so needy. Let's start with the cards I played. <clears throat> so, as I said, these, none of these are legal. Um, except for like the land cycle, basically. April. Come on, girl. She wants love and attention. Which she will get plenty of. It had a lot of the, what they called augment, <clears throat> in the set, where the two would you'd link cards together for extra effects, which is what I went for. I basically made a gruel stompy deck. Um. Now the cards that I didn't play. So I ended up actually getting seven packs. Um, actually, where's my rares? Let's separate those out. Foil. I should have played white, I don't know. I thought about it. Ooh, 
Ooh. <clears throat> That's cool looking. Uh, these lands are so pretty. Like this island is just beautiful. Um, like here's the mountain, the forest, the island, the swamp, the plains. Just gorgeous. <clears throat> I'm trying to get sleeved. Another secret base. This luck would have it. Another mountain. And the tokens are all foiled. It's a badass. Guess out of here, I should separate the rares out. Hmm. I really didn't play any rares. I only played the one rare. That's interesting. I wonder why that's li why I didn't do the best. It was Gruel Stompy for the win on this one. Um, Gruel Stompy saved the day. Let's just. Let's just put it like that. Um, as far as the gameplay goes, it's funny, it's goofy. Um, I guess like I have less fun with unsets because I'm doing less crazy shit, if that makes sense. Like, I just, um, I'm playing normal car, I'm playing, Goofy cards normally, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe because I'm just not trying to do the big damn thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a min maxer. I just kind of like creatures that swing. That's that's me. So I've been kind of having an issue lately with some of the players because I'm just like, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go, because it's like they kind of view it like I'm just going for a win when I'm really just playing. A thing I like, which is Gruel Stompy. Um, you know, I like just creatures and doing things. I don't like, I don't know. People are, people are people. So, overall, I have no clutch as how much this is worth. I technically only paid $25 for seven packs. So even on that standard, like the five for five, and then I got these, so again, the promo pack from the Brothers War, and let's crack into these Zendikar that I got. Um, hmm. Oh, damn. Pretty. Ooh, full art planes that I don't have. Don't have that card. Ooh, Craig Crown Pathway, Timber Crown Pathway, and full art. That's pretty. There's my foil. Not foil, but my um, token for the thief thing. Foil. Rares. Plain. <clears throat> Their full art land. Hmm. Rare oil token. So, yeah, um, I don't know if. 
you know, what the value of these guys are, I'll put them in. Um, most of the unsets are not overprinted, so it should have a fair amount of value. Um, I am going to do the land cycle into Max Field for the values as well. I know I normally skip that, but these are two. I know they have value. Um, and with that, I thank you all for watching this one, and you have a good day. All right, so this is the the seven. There's seven packs in here. I did a sealed event where it was six packs, and they gave me an extra one just because we had extra packs. And most of these are worth pennies because um, they're an unset. Silver border cards do not really uh, hold up. Oh, they printed this twice. Oh, I just noticed that. So anyway, um, some of these cards, they just don't have value, right? Four cents because they're only used in un-events. And even the contraptions, one or two sets really only use them. Um, you get a rare down here. It's only worth 20 cents. Now, this changes once we get to about... You know, so this foil right here. This foil ad. Non-foil, 20 cents. In foil, $2.33. For some reason, this guy in... Why is this one? See, I don't know. 44 cents. Two dollars. For some reason, it's very it's even more valuable. But then the land cycle. Two dollars. And some change. Dollar 84. 372, dollar 79, 345 for the island, which is a gorgeous island. Pretty much one of the prettiest ones. And the planes in foil. It's a $36 card. This box is $69. There's two cards in here that are missing. They're the garbage behemoth or whatever. The, the printing was screwed up. I couldn't get the ad right. So I'll get those sorted out later. A couple, you know, they could be anywhere from a 20 cent to a 30 cent card based on, or not 30, but $3 card because based on. Um, overall, this was a fun set to play. There's no value, really, unless you, you and your buddies have fun with it. It's a nice amusement. Um, I, I like the unsets because they're fun and they're weird, but the potential of them just never seems to be realized. Whenever I'm trying to play with people... Either they don't have enough people, or, I don't know. I'm going to do a, like, uh, one of the stores is doing a cube event for free, because it's Christmas. Uh, we don't get to keep the cards, but it's a free event, and it's an uncube with all sorts of uncards. So, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the Unfinity Sealed event was pretty slick, but all the draft, like, it's meant to be drafted. But for some reason, we can't ever get people to show up to the draft. I don't know. It's very weird. Um, I will... I want to make a silver-bordered commander deck. I really just want to make a commander deck out of this shit. And... But the fun of me having a crazy deck would be muted by someone else having a crazy deck because they do crazy decks better than me. And that saddens me. So, I don't know. It just, um, cause I just want to use the creatures of goofy abilities, but I don't know. I got, as I said, I got mixed feelings on this one. And overall, nothing wrong with the cards. I just, the culture just isn't there for it. I don't know if that's just, my play group isn't big enough, or I'm not in like a city. 
I just... It brought out the disappointing part of Magic the Gathering. I wish I had friends that were close friends that played. And I do have a couple close friends, but they're an hour away. And I just... And they hate the unsets, the two people that I play with. Um... I don't know. Uh, is what it is. That part that part's irregardless to the cards. The card these cards were the cardboard was nice, the foils are flat. These are five fucking year old cards. They didn't haven't curled yet. It's amazing. Um But overall though, I liked this. I had fun. I liked the cards. Um I've decided I'm probably going to open those two infinity boxes I've got sitting on my shelf, and then I'll just make a cube out of them if I need to. So, yeah. Let's add these to the collection. And... Quick cut. The sealed draft event I did have prize support. And I pulled $30 in prizes. It was two Zendikar Rising packs is what I picked as my winner. You can see like two packs or whatever. Because there was only so many. And then I got a, a promo pack of Brothers War. Um, another Sif Sardi and Cliff Stomper. I don't know why, but this dude keeps showing up. Six, Almost $6 foil. $3 Razor slash transmogant thingamabob um and then the big card is the 14 and a half dollar uh vesuvian diplom diplomacy diplomacy i, dip I want to say diplomacy but dipl dip duplicity mancy like duplicitous and necromancy in one word um but yeah surprise support was tits mcgee and then with that, y'all have a good night. Actually, hold on. 25 main board. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely good night.